Hello, hi everybody, and welcome back to day number four of the seven day online business boot camp. You know, today we're gonna to be talking about something that is such an integral part about your online business. We're gonna be talking about email follow up. But before we get to that, I wanna ask you a question. What are the things it took for you to develop the best relationships you've ever had? I know for a fact it takes three very important things to develop any relationship, whether it's personal or it's business. First one is it takes time. It takes an extended period of time to build any relationship with anything. The second thing is, is to show up consistently. And the third component of that is, and is really an outcome, is trust. If you show up over time, you're consistent with who you are, eventually you're gonna build trust and that's how you develop a relationship. That is extremely important to understand the concept about email follow-up. But I want to talk to you about something else. Let's recap yesterday, because that's always important, right? There's actually four different levels. Today's a big number of four. So there's four different levels. In fact, today is the fourth day of the week, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Today is the number four day. So there's four levels of learning. And now, some of these words may be a little big, so don't get too lost in that. But there's four levels of learning. First of all, there's in uh, unconscious incompetence, which means you don't know what you don't know. And then there's conscious incompetence, which means you know what you should be doing, but you're still not doing that, right? That's where change happens in life. And that's where we usually all get stuck because we get out of our comfort zone and all of a sudden we don't know what to do. We start getting frantic, right? The third level of learning is conscious competence. What that means is you're actually applying the knowledge that you're aware of to make the change that you want to make. And then the fourth level, the fourth level, that's actually conscious unconscious, pardon me, unconscious competence. That means you just know it like you know it, like you know it, and you don't have to think twice about it. Kind of like riding a bike. Once you learn how to ride a bike, you pretty much know how to ride every bike from that point forward. That's unconscious competence. So we always want to recap, and that's why we keep coming back to this. So let's talk about what we've learned so far this week. This uh, we started talking about how we get traffic how we drive it to a blog, how we capture the information, we send, we actually end up getting leads and we hold that in our email, and of course the ultimate goal is to actually get a sale. That's the goal of any business in the world right there. Obviously creating value is a big part, and we're gonna talk about value here in just a minute. But I wanna jump back here real quick because I put the word targeted in green because it's really important to understand that you've gotta be putting the right content with value in the right place. What do I mean by that? So this morning I was talking to a gentleman by the name of Tom who lives out in Charlotte and he sells insurance for a living. Does pretty well. He's a six figure earner in the industry. Um, he's in his late twenties, give or take, I believe. You know what? He actually came to the meeting. He has some decent knowledge about what we're talking about here. Like he knows and understands what you know now as well too. But here's the thing. Once I went and looked in his back office and saw what he had going on, he had no leads coming to him. He had no traffic showing up to him. And the reason why that was is because of the fact, first of all, he had um, unconscious incompetence. He didn't know what he didn't know. So he thought what everybody thinks in the world today, especially if you're in your 20s, you grew up with the internet, you grew up with computers, you grew up with websites. But everything, everybody thinks it's just as simple to go out there, create a website or a blog, doesn't matter, they're both just files that are online. So when somebody's have a website, Technically, they have a blog and they have a website and they have to do the same. But he just thought, hey, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna do a little bit of keyword research, which we'll get into much later. And he's like, I'm gonna put my website out there and people will just start finding me. The reality is, it just wasn't working because that's not how the world works. So you have to have very targeted audience, people that actually are talking about the products and services that you offer. And it doesn't matter if you're a life coach, it doesn't matter if you're a lawyer, it doesn't matter if you sell insurance, it doesn't matter if you have a brick and mortar office. You still have to put yourself in the river of well-being, which is where your audience is actually hanging out. So I just wanna make sure we understand that that's very important. Now, we're gonna jump in right here today into the email follow-up. There's two things, which is still a division of four. <laughs> two plus two is four, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about the two most important things today is, <clears throat> pardon me guys, Consistency and value. Remember when we talked about earlier when I asked you about what was the things that you have 
um, learn how to build your relationships, consistency was one of the main key components. Value is another one. So it's important to be emailing your people, your prospective clients, every single day, if not every other day. Now you want to do it in a way that you're actually creating value. Now you, we've all got those emails out there where somebody's always trying to say, hey, push, buy, buy now, buy now, right? They just want to push sales on us. Nobody likes dealing with those guys. Nobody likes dealing with them. We totally get that. We have to show up and we have to be consistent and we have to create value. And how do we do that? Let's talk about that. We do that through our email list. Remember, we captured our leads and they turned into our email list, which is a third party software. Now I have something down here, PLVVVSV. What does that stand for? First of all, Prado's Law. What is Prado's Law? It's 80-20. You guys have all heard that out there before, right? It's 80-20. 80% of the time, you create value. 20% of the time, you sell. So what does it mean? Out of five emails that I send, four of them are gonna have value in them. So value, 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 sell, value. And you just keep repeating this process over and over and over. What does value look like? Where do we create value? Value is created on our blog. Value is actually created on our blog. And guess what? I forgot my markers. <laughs> All right, what's awesome about that is I can actually go back and grab them. So here we go, guys. Um, value, Prado's Law. Again, it's 80-20. 80% of the time, you're creating value. The other 20% of the time, you're making a sale. And what is the ultimate goal of any business out there is always a sale. And I don't care who you are. If you are a heart-centered entrepreneur just like myself, if you're a small business like I've been as well, if you are a large business, or if you're just somebody who's just getting started, you still have to create value. That's like the best thing in the world if you really think about it. Think about down the road. If you create so much value for somebody, they actually get to know who you are first before they purchase your product. Do you think you're going to have as many problems if somebody were just to come in and buy your product? Then afterwards they always go, well, I just thought it was going to be more of this, or I thought it was going to be more of that, right? This is the way that I believe it should have always been done, is we create value up front. And it's the single most important thing, I think, in the business world today. And it's growing much more. And that's a cool thing. And now you're a part of it. So how do we create that value? We drive people from our email list, which are leads, to our blog. This is where value is actually created, is in our blog. And that's by creating solutions to people's problems. It's creating in tidbits of information that they actually want to do. Now, this can be created in other ways as well, too, in social media, too. Every day at 1111 on my Instagram account, I actually release Make-A-Wish, it's 1111, and I create some value with a picture, with a quote, um, something just some thought-provoking ideas. That's also another form of value. But in this case, we're driving emails, we're driving our leads from our email list to our blog. Now let's talk about something else here. What's the next most important thing? There's three things that you should always be doing. First one is, is be real. You know what? I forgot the marker. I had to go back and get it. So what? It happens, right? It's called life. The second thing is, tell your story. What do I mean by tell your story? Let me give you an example. So. Today you showed up here and I'm like, hey guys, my name is Derek Hendricks and I'm with rugged-potential.com. You know, I appreciate you stopping by. What we're going to talk about over this entire video series, our seven day online business bootcamp, is we're going to talk about how we get traffic, more importantly targeted traffic, how we drive that to our blog, how we capture our leads and we turn those leads into a sale by doing a follow up system. We create value, we solve problems for them. The cool part about it is, is that once you learn this system, it's literally like opening up the keys to the world because then you can sell anything. You can create anything. There's a lot of people out there that want to brand themselves. I have a gentleman I was talking to today by the name of Brett, lives in Parker, Colorado, and he actually is on his way to become part of the Olympic team in the Bellodrome, which is really cool. It's those bikes that have the one speed and you got to get them up and going and there's no brakes and the only way to slow down is to literally slow down over time. Well, obviously most of you know, or maybe you don't know, is that Olympians don't actually get paid any money for doing that um, unless they've been endorsed outside of there. 
So he's working on that right now. Well, he wants to brand his story. He wants to brand who he is. And so in order to do that, he's got to start creating value for the world. He's got to bring the things that he brings to the table. He's a pharmacist, he's an amazing bike rider, and he has an amazing story to tell. That is the value he has. Now out there in the world, there will be a lot of people who are just a couple of steps behind him in this world that want to learn what he's done. And so he can create value in his blog, tell his story, and he can be real, and he can help further along. Because like Margaret Packard said, at the end of the day, we're supposed to be lifting up who we supposed to be lifting up while we're climbing up. So again, just review, we got the email list, we send them back to our blog, which is where our value is created. We be really real who we are. We tell our story, and what's the third thing? Third thing is what they call a call to action, guys. You guys remember that? CTA. That's where the sale is actually made. How is that made? We actually send them to a sales content. This is where income was created. So I'll give you an example. An example I was just going through there. I said, you know what? Somebody like Brett, he wants to do this. He told his story, he was real, he created some value, and what he says, like I'm asking you to do right now, is click the link below. Go click the link below right now, plug into a system. Because in the system, you're gonna learn from people like Lawrence Tam, the 33-year-old engineer who's already tired. Tracy Walker is the first person that you're gonna see. In fact, John Oakes is in there, Michael Martin's in there. I'm gonna be hanging out with all these people actually in Nashville next month, which I'm really excited about. Because um, it's always cool to hang around with people who've made a million plus dollars in an industry. And this is just awesome. So click the link below, get plugged in the system, and start learning this stuff so you can come hang out with me in Nashville. So that's what I call a call to action. So go ahead and go do it now. Why not, right? So guys, let's back up here. I like to make sure we're repeating this because it helps me remember it and it helps you remember it. So we have traffic, we drive it to a blog, we capture the information in an email list, which is a lead. We drive that back to our blog, and then we ask them in the call to action to come to the sales content. And this is where the sale is actually created. So at the end of the day, you've taken them through an entire list of things. But here's a couple of things that are really important to remember. You gotta create value for them. You gotta create more value and more value, and you gotta stay in front of them consistently is at the end of the day, you're gonna build trust. Prime example of this is, is if you were in a business like I was in, we owned a construction company and our main product we sold was roofing. Well, the reality is if you put a roof on somebody's house, they should not need a roof for another 20, 25 years. So it was kind of like a once, once in a lifetime per se, that was in that industry, I think what, 12 years, something like that. This is basically a one-time sale. Now, how could I get them to be a multiple time sale. I wish I would have known this product then. I wish I would have knew then what I know now, that's for sure. But how could I actually turn, how could have I used this product in that case, right? Because even though their house didn't need a roof for 20 years, people what? They move. What else do they do? They, they sell their house or maybe it's an income property or maybe it's just a rental property of some sort or maybe they're buying new rental properties or maybe they're building a property like a second home, a vacation home somewhere. So in all of those cases, if I was consistent with them and emailing them and following up with them, we could have turned probably, I would say, well, I can give you a perfect example. Lawrence Tam said in the training the other day, email has a 3,400% return on it, guys. That's insane. I bet we had, well, we figured it out, it was like less than a 1% return out of thousands and thousands of clients in the construction industry. Why? Because we didn't have a way to really follow up with them. Having an email list is the best way to follow up with people. We may not have got a sale out of them, but we would increase our chances by 3,400%, and I would take that all day long. Wouldn't you? All right, guys, so let's jump into the last part about this whole system, because it's all about a system. What I mean by that, let's talk a little bit more about the actual sales. This is a marketing funnel, what we've created here. This is a marketing funnel. There's another thing called a sales funnel. And that is absolutely the toughest thing that you could actually make out there. Um, if, even if you're like an experienced internet marketer, the amount of time, it's very cumbersome to actually do this. I've only tried it a couple times and I can tell you, it was about racking my brain. 
What's cool about this system here is we already have the sales funnel created for you. So we take that off the plate. So all you have to do is plug into the system by clicking actually the link below and you get to do all the other fun stuff. You get to show up and you get to be real. You get to tell your story and you get to apply the things and have a call to action. And you can just be you. That's the reason why I got into this is because I get to just be me and get paid being me. How much fun would it be to get paid just being you? That way you can go spend the time doing the things that you love to do. You know, I love doing uh, road trips are my favorite thing out there. I love mountain biking. I love road biking. I love hiking. I love being outdoors. I love the sun. It's amazing. That's where I like to spend my time when I'm not working. And when I'm not working and I'm out doing these things, I'm actually making money because I have a system that is working for me 24 seven. And one of the best things from being a business owner where I had 30 employees at one point in time and about 60 subs, I can tell you, I don't have any employees. I don't have any subs. I have some subs I hire out to do some basic little things for me. But I set the system up with the help from my mentors like Lawrence Tam, like Joe Chance, like Brian Couch. These guys who are all six and seven figure earners in the industry have taught me these things. But I plugged into a system and they help shape me. They help me get the content that I need. So now that when I'm out having fun or on the road trip, I have a machine that is working for me in the back. I have a system that people just come to and they find me organically because why? I put my information in very targeted areas for the people I want to talk to, much like you today. So guys, plug into the system. It's absolutely amazing. It has changed my life. It will change your life. I know that. And then you can go do the things you really want to do. So guys, we're going to talk about tomorrow. What are we talking about tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to talk about, oh, we're going to dive in more about the system. Imagine that. <laughs> we're going to talk more about how you can start applying some of these things into your own business. And it doesn't matter, again, if, you have a, if you're just getting started and you don't have a product, no problem. We have a product for you. If you already have a current target market and a current system, we can come in and audit what you're doing and we can help you increase that. Just like the guy, Tom, out there in Charlotte, you know, he's making six figures, but he wants to double that because he has goals in his life that he wants to do. He thought he knew a system, but once we pulled and lift up the hood, we realized he didn't even have an engine in his car. You can't get anywhere without an engine in your car. So the other part about this is, is to make sure that you click the link below right now. Get in there, start paying attention, take some notes. These people started out just like you and just like me. They started out from almost nothing. Uh, Michael Martin claimed bankruptcy as well, I believe in 2012, if I'm not mistaken, he'll talk about it, I believe. John Oakes, um, he within his first month had a few grand coming in. Tracy Walker lost her entire real estate business and I can relate to that because that was part of our construction as well. You know what, and now she's made over seven figures in the last four years plugging into the same system. Guys, I can't express enough, it's about the system. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just be who you are. Show up and work hard. Immerse yourself in this information. Guys, I think you're getting this by now, right? You're getting the fact you just need to be real. You need to tell your story. You need to be consistent, create value, follow up with these people by creating value on your blog, and then send them to a sales funnel. We have the sales funnel created for you. All you have to do is plug into the system and build the rest of it out. And we're gonna help you and coach you, and there's tutorials on how to do this. I heard this great saying the other day. It said that entrepreneurs will do for one to two years to live the life that they want to live, what most people won't do for the rest of their life to live for one or two years. Now, if you really put some thought to that, that means that entrepreneurs who have dreams and want to do the things that they really want to do will do what most people won't do for a short period of time so they can live the life that most people will never live. So plug into the system now. Come on the other side. Come hang out with me. Come hang out with my mentors. And let's go have some fun doing this. All right, guys. So, hey, tomorrow on day number five, also day number five of the week, I might add, um, depending on how you're counting, right? But uh, tomorrow on day five, we're actually going to be talking about making sales and how you can make sales in a shorter period of time using my marketing techniques. So make sure you have a good day. Click the link below. Jump in. Come join in. Come hang out. Let's have some fun. Maybe we can be making a video here soon together. Otherwise, make it a great day. Talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Aloha. Be real. By now, you're getting this, right? Be real. 
tell your story and have a call to action. Follow up with people, build a relationship. You know, I heard a cool, it was one of those little tiles we see out there on Facebook or online, whatever it was. I thought it was a really interesting scene. It talked about entrepreneurs will do two or three, or will do things for two or three years. Oh, I'm gonna mess this up. That's all right. The point of it was, was that entrepreneurs do things for a period of time so they can live their life. I don't know what that one was. <laughs>